Hey everybody, what's up? So I wanted to talk about a couple of things. First and foremost, if you ever left me a comment and I didn't respond, I actually have not been getting comments. I have to go into videos and check. And recently I got a whole long list of, you've not responded to these comments under YouTube Studio. Like, oh crud, I didn't even know these existed. So I apologize. That's just what happened, you know. Unfortunately, YouTube is notorious for that. So I'm really sorry. Um kind of dropped the ball on that one. But I don't always check my videos for comments, and I really should at this point, just because of that. Second of all, if you're not interested in the Bob and Edward videos, Please understand that I do those as a joke, as creative, especially the recent Edward videos about nice stuff. Um, Bob, if you've never seen the channel before, is kind of like this jerk. And he's portrayed as such. Edward is the nice one. And I kind of wanted to do those videos just just for fun, right? You know, it's like, and that's why I put this is just a joke. That's not how I feel. Um, so, yeah, if if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. But please understand, there are people that love those. And ultimately, I'm going to keep doing them. This is part of way, you know, the way the channel is. So I wanted to go over that. Thirdly, let's just discuss for a minute here. Uh, you know, I made the video talking about digital and physical and one of the things that I think people did not pay attention to is the fact also that DLC really primarily, you know, don't remember if I talked about this or not, but it's something a really quick one to go over. DLC pretty much cemented, you know, this idea of, hey, we got this, you know, game expansion, blah, blah, blah. You're going to love it, but you're going to pay us more money for it. And it's a digital download. So unless you get the greatest collections, whatever, and you don't see that often anymore, you're paying for those. And ultimately, it really got people used to this idea of digital media. Why am I saying that now? Because I wanted to. I've seen people talking about digital versus physical still. And I still believe, honestly, that physical is on its way out unless you order online. I went into a Walmart and I got Bayonetta 3 because I like that series. I haven't gotten to 2 yet, but still. There's only one copy left. And in this Walmart, there's like maybe one or two games per section. You know, like individual like game titles. And I go, and this is bull. It used to be like you could come in here and this, you know, the shelves would just be full of games and now they're not. It's pretty sad. It really is. And I mentioned this on somebody else's channel. Like, if you go into a Best Buy and you want a game, you have to scan a code. And they bring you the game. I'm like, that is bull. I want to be able to go to the shelf and actually get the game myself rather than, you know, hope that my phone isn't, doesn't die or the code scans correctly. To me, that's just pointless. It really, truly is. <laughs> Excuse me, I actually had to ask somebody because my phone died. Hey, can you bring me this game? Yeah. Like, okay, cool. Why don't you just have a model on the shelf? I wasn't going to argue. I was with somebody else who would have gotten embarrassed, even though I should have embarrassed them for embarrassing me one other time. That's neither the here nor there. But yeah, it's just... Like, any time i bought games recently, it's been off of Amazon. Amazon's been my game dealer lately. And it really has. One of our local game shops is now it's a uh, vape shop. The other one is in the, uh, the town that I used to work in. And now it's clear on the other side of town. So unless you want to drive there, then you're SOL. And it's just bolt. You know? I don't know. It just is. And it seems like also... I don't know. With gaming, it's just been this thing of, hey, let's pump out games that people probably don't need, but they're still going to buy. All these, you know, sh shovelware games are still coming out. And people are griping about prices of games. That reminds me of people going, oh, my God, you know, this game is going to cost this much. I want to say, please remember 
that the price this person is talking about, you know, may not happen here in the States. We don't know because there is, uh, I have to go look at conversion price, you know, tracks me like, how much is this the US dollar versus how much of the Canadian dollar or euro, whatever, you know, we have to figure that out and hope, just hope that that price does not happen in the States. I don't know. I'm not planning on getting a PS5 anytime soon. It would be nice to have one with a disc drive, but I know that those prices are probably going to go up once everything goes digital on those. Unless you get one of the ones, like I said, I think in the previous video, that they're going to be coming with a disc drive that you can buy versus where Microsoft won't. So you probably need... Ready to go! I had my... Oh. Probably need one of these to store your games on. This is my two gigabyte. Not two gigabyte. Two terabyte. What am I saying? I don't know anymore. But yeah. It's just nuts. It really is. And my favorite thing is people are talking about it's the current generation of kids, you know, these these companies are panning towards no, they know that they can get make this stuff sold as digital, no matter who it is, and they're going to do it. We're, you're letting the companies get away with it. Don't blame another generation for what's going on. Blame the companies. That's it. Talk to y'all later. Take care. Mm.